it was you, hallelujah, when you were looking for healing to take place in your body and you get into that word and you begin to declare the healing in your body, hallelujah, after so long the word takes shape and form, that's you going out to the potter's house, by the way, and when it takes shape and form on the inside of you, when it comes to maturity, hallelujah, it takes you, hallelujah, to the place, hallelujah, where you reach your final trimester, hallelujah, and an explosion takes place, hallelujah, and you give birth to the word from the spirit realm into the natural hallelujah and we experience the glory of the Lord hallelujah and you say to yourself hallelujah it was only by the hand and the power of God hallelujah that I lived and did not die hallelujah you gotta make a move it's time to make a move Jesus made it plain. He said, if you know me, if you'd know my father, if, you, if, if you've been with me and you know me, you would have known that it was my father. By the glory that you seen in me. That's what he was saying. You should have known that it was the father by the glory that you seen in me. Why? Because I'm just the express image of my father. Are y'all listening to me? What was he saying? He said, you see me, you seen the Father. You see me in the doctrine that I preach. You see me and you heard from me, hallelujah, the words, hallelujah, that, that did not come from me. And he said, if you didn't believe what I was saying, at least look at the works. I did not raise Lazarus from the dead. It, he said, he said, I am the resurrection, bitch, with that meaning that God is alive on the inside of me. And so because of that, he said this. This is and this is the most beautiful prayer in the scripture. And this is how I believe we should pray. He said, Father, I thank you that you hear me, that you've heard me when I pray. That's what he said. I thank you. See, we don't know how to be thankful. But you're going to learn today. And after he said thank you, what did he do? He told him, he told him to roll the stone away. What did he do? He said, Lazarus. Do you know how many people's name was Lazarus? But because the spirit of Lazarus connected with the spirit of God that was on the inside of him, when he spoke and gave voice to the word, the power went to the Lazarus that he was talking to, and Lazarus came out of the tomb, I believe, happened because he was wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up and mummified, hallelujah, and he was alive based on the word that Jesus spoke. Jesus made the move first by saying, Father, I thank you. It's time to make a move. I give, I've given you a lot. And I don't, I don't know if I should continue to give you any more because I don't know how much more y'all can handle. But I just need you to know that this express image of God is a state of being. And your state of mind is what creates and de develops and molds and shape your state of being. So you have to take on the mind of Christ through the word of God. And you have to imitate God based on the word of God and the spirit of God. And when you do glory to God, hallelujah, you become the express image of God in the earth and the power of God is released in and through you. So it takes you having a mindset. So let's do this, because I need you to. I need you. To, I need you to put something into practice. So I need you to think about a situation that you got going on right now, and I, I just need you to get one scripture, and that, and that one scripture is God is the supplier of your every need, and because you are in Him and you're a kingdom citizen, everything is made available to you. Now I need you to spend time in it, and I need you to. I need you to bring your situation before your spiritual mind's eye and based on the word of God I need you to put this word into motion in your spirit man by thinking hallelujah 
and, and seeing the end, what, I want, what am I saying to you? Take yourself through the process. Get yourself in a quiet place and sit and bring before your mind, hallelujah, what it is you need God to do. What it is it you, you specifically need for him to do? And take yourself through the process of, 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 of him doing it in your life. If that's just walking up the stairs. And as you take yourself through the process, this is a form of meditation and declaration based on the word of God. And when you do, hallelujah, as you take yourself to, through the process, take yourself to the end. And when you see yourself in the end, make sure your spirit, soul, and body is aligned with it. What am I saying to you? If you get distracted, hallelujah, you need to go back and start all over again and bring yourself into a place of focus and intention, hallelujah. And as you bring yourself into a place of focus and intention, hallelujah, when you get there, hallelujah, keep your intention on the promise and don't get distracted hallelujah by hallelujah the hallelujah the world system and as you do take yourself to the end when you take yourself to the end I need you to express to God thanksgiving I need you to be grateful and express the greatest gratitude that you can express hallelujah to God hallelujah and as you do hallelujah I want you to stay in the end and so when you get up hallelujah whether you're seated on your knees or what when you get up you know that you have an answer hallelujah and based on the answer that you have based on the end you have declared just declared the end from the beginning just like God and when you declare the end from the beginning hallelujah all you doing now hallelujah is waiting hallelujah for the promise to come to pass all you do is wait if he need if, if there's instructions that he need to get to you if there's something else for you to do hallelujah he'll tell you to do it and whatever you hear coming to your spirit that's what you do hallelujah if he tell you to go hallelujah Hallelujah, you go. He told Peter, he said, go catch a fish and hallelujah and your taxes will be paid. Hallelujah, if he tell you to do something, all you got to do is do it, hallelujah. And when you do what he says, hallelujah, the power of God, the ability of God, the anointing of God, hallelujah, goes into motion on your behalf, hallelujah, to bring the promise to pass, hallelujah. And when you do, hallelujah, I want you to keep practicing it over and over again. Give yourself repetition. Why? Because because when you continuously do it, hallelujah, it changes, hallelujah, it changes, hallelujah, your mindset, it changes and brings you into agreement with God, and it causes the power of God, hallelujah, to begin to flow, hallelujah, it's just like you aligning, hallelujah, with your light switch, hallelujah, and when you flip the light switch on, the lights come on, hallelujah, but if there's something wrong in the light switch, hallelujah, if the positive or the negative is burnt out, hallelujah, you got to go in there and fix it, hallelujah, and when it gets a and when you get equipped with it, hallelujah, when you flip the switch, hallelujah, the power is released, boom, the lights come on and you experience the glory of God. Somebody say, I'm making moves. It's time to make a move. But we got to start now. If you're with us Thursday, you know that the kingdom is here and the kingdom is now. The kingdom is here and the kingdom is now. Jesus brought the kingdom here and it is available now. And the now part is you. Somebody said you got to do your part. Taking action and making a move on the word of God. And when you do, the promise of God will be heaven manifesting on earth in your life. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, I'm making moves. Turn to your other neighbor and say, lights, camera, action. It's time to make moves. It's time for action. Now, <clears throat> we've given you this word. We believe that you are equipped not only to win, but equipped to live as sons and daughters. You are equipped with the spirit of God, the power of God. You become one with him. And you are to operate in the authority that Jesus has made available to you. And as you do, 
you'll begin to operate and do the greater works that Jesus said you would be operating in. He said, the works that I do, you shall do and greater. Not only for yourself, but everybody that you come into contact with. And when you do this, you are empowered and equipped not only to be a doer of the word, but to help us to continue to transform the world and manifest the kingdom on earth just as it is in heaven. It is time for us to infiltrate every system, every governmental system that is set up. And as we infiltrate it, it is time for us to overtake and implement those systems with the world, with the kingdom system. And when we do, we're going to see the glory of God like we've never seen and experienced it before. Amen. Now, if you haven't made Jesus the Lord of your life, if you haven't made this quality decision, and you're under the sound of my voice, I present to you this opportunity this morning to become a part of the family of God. And you do that by accepting Jesus, simply believing and confessing Jesus. This is about your soul. It's not about a denomination. It's, not, it's really not about the color of your skin. It's not about any of those things. It's about you making Jesus the Lord of your life. And when you do, all these natural things that you've been indoctrinated with in your mind, oh, they'll be moved. And you'll begin to operate on the higher level, which is the kingdom level. You begin to speak with the authority of God and, and experience and see the results, changing the world, changing your situation and your circumstances, seeing the word alive on the inside of you. I present this opportunity to you. Get saved. One thing I can tell you from experience, those streets they were there before you and they'll be there when you go. You can play around in those streets if you want to, but they'll they'll be there when, when you go. I'm telling you from experience. I'm not telling you nothing that I have not experienced in my own personal life. I'm not, I'm not telling you nothing that I that I that I, that I've not experienced in my family. I lost my brother basically to the streets. And I could have lost my life to the streets. But today is a day. It's an open door and an opportunity for you to change your life. It's an opportunity for you to really experience the kingdom life. Today is a day for you to make a decision. A decision for the rest of your life. I present this opportunity to you. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to find the answer in any drug, any alcoholic drink, any man or woman. You, you, There will never be satisfaction in a career, money, none of those things. Until you get your soul. You got to get your soul back. Radically changing the way I think. Based on the word that I heard today. I come to you Lord. Asking for forgiveness of all of my sins. And as I come open to you. Jesus I ask you to come into my heart. My Lord and Savior and live your life in me resurrect your life in me I welcome you I welcome you this morning manifest your glory through me I receive you now Amen if that's you and you prayed that prayer 
I want to be the first ones to say to you, welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the family of God. You are born again. You are now a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. You have been adopted into the family of God and you are a son and a daughter of the most high God. And all of the benefits of this citizenship is available to you now. Old things have passed away. None of your sins are counted against you and all things have become new. Those things died the moment you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Welcome to the family of God. Congregation, don't you appreciate those who made Jesus the Lord of, your life, of, the, of their life? Amen. Praise God. If that's you, and you're streaming in, go to our website at www.thekohci.org. And when you go to go there, go to the tab that says connect with us. And you'll see a tab that says I'm saved. You click on it and you fill that form out and send it back to us. Pastor LJ and I, we want to connect with you to share with you what it is you've obtained. We want to uh, share with you your new life in Christ. And we want to provide you with godly counsel to help you to maintain what you've obtained on today. Amen. Welcome to the kingdom. Amen. Praise God. If you're looking for a church home and you're not here in, in, in the local area, you can become a part of our e-church. Amen. And we'll provide the same hallelujah, godly counsel and resources that you need. Hallelujah. Just as if you were here locally with us. Amen. Amen. If you want to become a part of our e-church, same thing. Amen. Go, go to our website and connect with us. And we welcome you. We welcome you to the Kingdom of Heaven Church International. This is a safe place for you to heal, a safe place for you to grow and mature. And so that you can live, hallelujah, this kingdom life. As it is in heaven, so shall it be here on earth. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for you and we appreciate you. Now, here's an opportunity for you to seal this word. This is an opportunity for you to complete your worship. Sowing a financial seed into this ministry. We ask that you sow from your heart because you love God and you honor God. And whatever God speaks to you, the spontaneous thought that just came to your mind, that's the seed that you sow. And when you sow from your heart, sow in love. And when you sow in love and you complete worship, amen, the seeds that you sow will produce a harvest. Amen. Give from your heart. Every seed that's sown, hallelujah, 100% it, it goes back into the work. It's a tax-deductible off offering for those of you who need to, to know that, amen. And it's, it's available to you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. Give from your heart this morning. I don't want to pray over your seed and bless your seed. Amen. So tap in with your seed. And let's, let's pray. Father, we thank you right now for the gathering of the champions. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, to hear your word and receive it. We receive it with gladness in our hearts, Father. And as we complete our worship, we complete it, Father, with the financial seed. And we thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, for the opportunity to sow into this word to complete our worship. Now, in Jesus' name and on the authority of his word, I bless every seed sown right now. And I command that seed to grow, produce a harvest a thousand times over the seed that's sown in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, right now for the harvest that's flowing back to your people right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We thank you for joining us on today. We appreciate you. We honor God for you. And we're continuing to pray for you that you be strengthened with might in your inner man and that you begin to ex exercise and put this word into practice. And as you execute the word, the power of God is released and the glory of God is manifested in your life. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
don't forget to share this message with those who, who you know, hallelujah, didn't get a chance to hear it. And don't forget to go back and review the message so that you can continue to be fed and spiritually equipped and built up in it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Don't forget to join us on Thursday for Carries of the Kingdom Bible Study at 650. Amen. We love you and we appreciate you. We thank God for you. Let's pray the benediction. Father, I thank you, Lord, right now, Lord, for what you've done on this morning. We thank you that as we've gathered together as one in unity, Father, that your spirit was poured out upon us like never before. Thank you that we've been supernaturally energized and empowered and equipped, Father, to do the work of the kingdom here on the earth. Lord, cause the word that they heard to manifest in their lives, Father. And Lord, cause your glory to be manifested through them in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Lord, right now that they'll testify of your goodness to confirm the word of God preached with signs, wonders, and miracles. We thank you, Lord, right now that this week will be full of the manifestation of your glory in Jesus' mighty name in the form of healing, financial breakthroughs, and increase promotions and deliverances and restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Now to him who is able to keep it full falling and present you faultless before his glorious presence, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, now henceforth and forever. The angels, angels of God has been released to protect you from all hurt, harm, and danger. Hallelujah. Have a great week. In Jesus' name, amen.